eight police officers in the hospital. Sambo here, of course, your online b-boy coach. I'm sorry. Now give me five push-ups. And welcome everyone to this roll back to one hand tutorial. And in this tutorial, I will also be showing you how to roll back to your elbow freeze or elbow pike. And I will also show you how to roll back to your air chair. And the roll back to your elbow freeze is for free and so is the air chair. And so is the roll back to the one hand. It's actually all for free. So hit that like button down there, supporting your coach right here, making you the next BC1 channel. So the roll back to one hand is a killer way to finish off your round during a battle. And it can be used in many different ways and you might just be the person to bring it to the next level. So to learn the roll back to one hand, you need to be able to do a really good handstand. You also need to know how to do pikes or L kicks. And for this, you also wanna be able to roll back to a good handstand, which is kind of logic, right? Also something I really, really recommend for you guys is to be able to do a kip up because the feeling of a kip up is, you know, it's kind of similar to the roll back to one hand. And to be even more precise, it's kind of similar to a one handed kip up. If you ever tried that, I actually never tried it. I'm, I'm gonna try it for the first time for this video because I'm sure it's kind of like the same feeling. So so, well, there you go. I can do it. And I recorded that after recording this. So I really did try it for the first time. So if you need help with all of that, I recommend you just run. Run, Luke, run. To my YouTube channel and just look at the tutorials that might help you on all of these moves. And hit the subscribe button right there if you realize that this is the best channel for your breaking tutorials. Hmm, you know what? He's right. So here we go and get ready to get your minds blown because nobody will explain you this the way I will in this video unless they have already watched this video or they might be one of my students. So here we go. Start out by rolling back to a handstand a few times just to get in that flow. Try and be light and energetic. I even recommend you to just let yourself fall a few times just to be ready for action. Just make sure you don't hurt yourself. Now before I actually start to explain you guys how to roll back to one hand, we have to know what one hand actually is because there are many different ways of standing on one hand. So the position we are going to roll to first is what I call a pike or a pikeroo. And let me just add here to make this the best tutorial ever on roll back to one hand that you actually have to practice this on both sides because practicing this on both sides will give you major advantage in the future if you're taking this b-boy shit really seriously. The difference between a pike and just standing on one hand is that your upper body is faced towards the ceiling while your legs are folded towards you. And while we're gonna learn this roll back to one hand pike, you wanna keep your legs open and stretched first before trying other forms. Because this is actually the easiest way to learn this one. And once you master it, you can try and do all sorts of crazy stuff. So a good way to start evolving towards that roll back to one hand is by using two hands to push up to a handstand. And from here, you want to hop or let one hand go until you get into that pike destination. And I know a lot of you guys aren't gonna practice this on both sides, but you're forgetting who's the coach here. And if you don't listen to your coach, then you now give me five mother push-ups. So you really want to try and stick that freeze. The impact and the effect triples if you hit that freeze nice and tight, and especially if you kill the beat with it. And this is actually already usable for you. And okay, it's not the roll back to one hand yet, but if you can do this nice and clean, you can already use this for whatever you want to use it. And it's definitely better than nothing. This was a really good warm up for the roll back to one hand, but the technique and the secret trick behind the roll back to one hand is completely different. And I hope you're paying really good attention right now because let me say it again. It's completely different. And it's actually gonna feel more like a one handed kip up as I mentioned earlier. So the golden rule for the roll back to one hand is keeping your upper body directed towards the ceiling at all times. And this is the most common mistake I see when teaching someone this move because they link it so much to the roll back to handstand, which has your upper body facing the front, we actually wanna keep our upper body towards the ceiling at all times. So the next exercise is rolling back and creating a kip up with one hand while landing in a one-handed bridge. As you can see here, my arm here is stretched, simulating the pike destination. Also, my upper body is facing up. And it's not only facing up at the end, it's facing up during the whole process of me doing this roll back kip up move. While rolling back, you need to push that arm at all costs. Your arm has to be unstoppable. You know what I mean? Like, bam! 
Whatever happens, that arm is stretched. Meanwhile, it's okay for you to land on your feet while creating that one-handed bridge. And get comfortable here and make sure this works before pushing on to the next exercise. The next step is trying to get into a low pike, almost looking like a one-handed applejack. During a rollback to one hand, it's really hard to get all of your body weight all the way up. And that's why this next technique is absolutely revolutionary. And you will only find this with Coach Sambo. So the science behind this is letting your hips end up lower than they would do when doing a normal rollback to one hand. This enables you to focus more on the technique and absorb the feeling a lot faster. Because this is basically it already. So while you're positioning your arm for the pike, we have a lot less weight to carry up because we let the hips drop. Making the entry to one hand pike possible. Once you get into that low pike, you need to finish up clean as soon as possible. So like an applejack, we're gonna kick our legs back out and try to land on our feet nice and swiftly. And if this all works, I need to take time to congratulate you personally. Congratulations. So now you're already kind of there. And the more you do this, the better it will feel, the more speed you will harvest while rolling back, and the higher you will go with your hips, ending up in a complete normal pike. Also, it's good to know that when you're rolling back, you need a good leg pump to help you get all the way up there, of course. But the key elements and the secrets in this tutorial is basically keeping your chest faced up and stretching that arm at all costs. And it's exactly the same thing if you're gonna do this on your elbow or with an air chair. The chest stays up and the arm positions itself where it needs to be. Make sure while doing a elbow pike or a pike or an air chair that you keep your legs folded towards you so you can kick them back out and land nice and swiftly on those feet. Also, I have to add that if you're rolling back into an air chair, you have to make sure that you place the elbow where it has to be placed by stabbing your elbow on the side of your hips. And it may feel awkward in the start, so I actually just recommend you rolling back to a hong ten freeze or, you know, something similar to that. And if you need help on hong ten freezes, then check out my ultimate baby freeze tutorial where I show you all variations that are possible with the baby freeze. You know me, bro, is 125% quality. And once you master your rollback to one hand or elbow or air chair, then you can start to get creative and start doing things that you would have never thought could be possible. Just let me add here again that if you really want to become the next level b-boy, you have to train all of this on both sides. So you need to be able to do a pike on both sides, elbow freezes on both sides, and air chairs on both sides. And I know I'm asking a lot, but I have one question for you. Do you want to become the best or not? Then train your shit on both sides. Because you, the future generation, have to bring it to the next level. So me and my generation, when we're old and grumpy, we can sit on our couch, watch the Olympics, and see some next level shit. And if you manage to learn the rollback, then post it on your Instagram and tag me because I will repost it and I just like to see you guys learn new stuff. Just don't forget to tag me, of course. And if you can't pull the move off yet, then send me a video of that and I will be more than happy to help you out. That's right, Coach Sambo's customer service is at your service. Good morning, this is Coach Sambo's customer service. How can I help you? Oh, you're stuck with two halos, eh? Leave me alone! And what tutorials do you guys wanna see next? Let me know so I can get to work. And be honest, like really honest. This was a pretty good tutorial, right? So if you agree, just spam the comment section so I can rank this video up to because commenting and liking and sharing and all that boosts up the stats and it basically boosts up Coach Sambo's YouTube channel. Making me because at the end of the day, when you think about it, just give me five push-ups. It's just all about that b-boy shit.